Are prunes good for you? Well, let's look at the science. It may or may not be. Let's take a look. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Let's get everybody healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and let's tell everybody we can help them get healthy here. Well, today I want to talk about prunes. And they've been around for a long, long time, but are they good for you or are they bad for you? Let's look at the science. Yeah, some people have an automatic turn off to prunes, you know, oh, prunes, terrible prune juice. Uh, uh, but actually, they are amazing. They're anti inflammatory, super amount of antioxidants, double that of any kind of fruit that you can think of. Also, preventing and healing of osteoporosis, lowering cholesterol, liver uh, healing, also lowering of blood pressure. Uh, helps with keeping away allergic reactions, um, improves heart health, lowers cholesterol, and improves gut health, and it improves your microbiome, and improves your sleep, and memory, and on and on and on. And we'll get into more of that in just a as second. As far as antioxidants go, they have a lot of polyphenols, twice as much as any other fruit out there. So prunes are amazing as far as antioxidant uh, capabilities and keeping away inflammation and that type of thing. For digestive health, lots of people know about that also, but lots of people don't know it's really good for osteoporosis. And we'll get into that a little bit more in just a second. Really good for the liver, improves your sleep, all kinds of things. Good for your heart and gut health, uh, lowers cholesterol. Studies show it can actually lower your total cholesterol and your LDL cholesterol in a huge way. So, and a lot of double blind studies showing this too. It also lowers your blood pressure significantly with just one dose of prunes uh, compared to a control group. Also, if you have, you know, high liver enzymes, ALT, AST, that type of thing, actual eating prunes can improve that and make it better and heal that liver and make a big difference. They show if you keep coming down with allergies, eating prunes can help to prevent that. And if you have allergic reactions to everything, prunes can make a big difference. If you're worried about losing your memory as you get older, eat your prunes. Studies show it help to prevent cognitive decline. Lots of antioxidants to prevent aging. And look at my skin. I mean, they're really, uh, I look, I had a lady the other day said, you look like you're 42 and I'm going to be 72. So prunes will help you in a big Cardiovascular way. Cardiovascular health, as far as preventing heart attacks and strokes and things like that, prunes do a really good job because they lower those a uh, a uh, LDL cholesterols and increase your HDL cholesterols and, and get really slow down and lower your uh, total cholesterol. If you have cholesterol problems, you got to be eating your prunes. That's for sure. Because it has a huge amount of fiber, as everybody knows, it can help to, you know, lower your blood sugar, which is good for those who are diabetic. And if you're anemic, prunes have a lot of great iron, which is bioavailable, which is really good for you. If you're older and you're coming down with osteoporosis, prunes actually enhance bone production and actually prevent absorption of the bone and getting rid of your bone. So it really does a good job. Lots and lots of studies about that. And of course, constipation. You know, constipation can lead to cancer and lead to uh, heart problems and, and all kinds of uh, actual diseases. I have a, a video about constipation being deadly, and it is. And one great thing about having a lot of fiber and prunes, it really does a great job. Studies show it really improved the quality of your stools and also didn't give you watery stools or a lot of gas. Once you get used to it, you know, that's one of the biggest things. Taking time to get used to the prunes. Study showed prune juice was safe and natural and did better than any of the, the other uh, ways of getting rid of constipation. So really fantastic. And so many people are constipated these days. Side effects? Well, it does have the ability to give you some gas and bloating when you first start. 
hang in there. You just start out slow, one or two prunes daily, and then kick it up to three or four. Once you get past the, the gas and bloating, that's just normal. Uh, you, that will go away. For prune juice, you know, four ounces. Start out with two ounces. Work yourself up to four ounces every day, and that will really help in a great way.